Well, turning now to a disturbing situation in a Spanish Fort neighborhood. A lot of people are scratching their heads on this one. A number of cats have gone missing or turned up dead in recent days. And rightly so. It's got pet owners in Spanish Fort Estates on edge. Our Brendan Kirby has been looking into this and joins us now with what he found out. So, Brendan, do we have any idea who or what's responsible for all this? Well, no one knows for sure, Shelby and Lanise. There's a lot of speculation and some worry that this could be the work of a person. Please tell me the most likely culprit is an animal. Either way, they say pet owners should be alert. Several cats have been found dead in the Spanish Fort Estates neighborhood on the eastern shore. Images shared on social media are disturbing, too graphic to show on television, of mutilated bodies. He's a farm cat. Elizabeth Matthews says her family's cat was missing for a little more than 24 hours. She says her concern grew when she saw Facebook posts about dead cats near her street. If it rains, he's always on our back, on our back porch. He has access to come in the house anytime he wants. So he, if it's raining, he does not like to be out. He does not like to be wet. So the fact that we couldn't find him when it was, um, when it was wet outside was very concerning. The cat came back Tuesday, but others haven't been as lucky. I talked to one woman who discovered her mutilated cat near her home last week. She tells me based on the way the cat was cut, she believes it could only have been done by a person. Something's happening in the neighborhood. Spanish Fort Police Chief John Barber says the department didn't receive a formal report, but began investigating because of the social media chatter. We handled it like we would do any other criminal investigation. Uh, you know, if somebody's out there killing cats in a neighborhood, it's a crime. But Chief Barber says he reached a different conclusion after consulting with an Alabama Department of Conservation and Natural Resources biologist. Their opinion on the, the pictures that we sent him uh, were that it was a bird of prey that actually caused that. And so, you know, that was good for us to hear that. Now, one thing I think we can clearly establish talking to everybody is that there are a number of cats that have been killed in a very short period of time in the estates. Matthew says that explanation makes sense to her. She says she one time saw an owl fly into the window where her dog was on the other side. Another time, she says, an owl got into a scuffle with the cat. We heard screeching and some loud noises, and we came around the fence to see our cat grabbing something from an owl that was escaping our cat, actually, and it was a squirrel that had been completely dismembered, no blood. Mondi Donaldson, who's lived in the neighborhood for 30 years, says she saw a dead cat a couple of weeks ago, less than two blocks from her home. I've never seen anything like this before, but it was almost like the, animal, the cat wasn't touched. It was a big, beautiful black cat. Um, it was not like it was touched. Chief Barber says that if anyone does have information that this is the doing of a person, they should call police. And he says pet owners should remain cautious about allowing small cats and dogs to be exposed. Reporting live in the studio, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.